In an everyday basis, we are the subjects of our life experiences that we transform into a memory trace, which we then can consciously recollect thanks to our hippocampal long-term memory processes. But what happens to these long-term memory processes if dissociation occurs? Using the advantages of out-of-body illusions to simulate the dissociation, we assessed the specific effect of this encoding on long-term memory processes of real-life events. To recreate the situation of a real-life event, participants are invited to come to the lab to participate in an oral exam on their general knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, you just have to try to do your best. Okay. Four topics are assessed. Geopolitics, engine, neuroscience and poems. They first get 10 minutes to read the documents related to the assessed topics. Okay. So you will always sit here so you can They are then introduced to the virtual reality room where the evaluation will take place. So first you have to wear these earphones. Mm -hmm. Before each evaluation, an illusion induction so takes place. They will feel in-body or out-of-body according to the condition. The out-of-body illusion is induced with a synchrony of touch and visual input. The experimenter moves a stick towards the cameras while a colleague touches the participant in synchrony in the same spot of the body. This gives the participant the illusion their body to be located where the cameras are placed. After illusion induction, they are asked to perform as well as they can in the evaluation. The experimenter goes out of the room and the evaluation starts. The professor comes in. The first topic is assessed. You're a civilized person, so am I. Let's start the evaluation immediately. The nasty professor is actually a professional actor following a script. What is the role of the piston? A controlled self-relevant social interaction takes place. Who was Mossadegh and how can his popularity be explained? He was a former leader of um, Persia or Iran. And Once the evaluation of the topic is over, the professor goes out of the room and the experimenter comes back in to ask questions on the performance to enhance the need to perform well. Participants experience two evaluations from in-body and two evaluations from out-of-body. After the evaluation, the out-of-body illusion questionnaire is assessed. The first part is over. The participant is invited to come back a week later. Now, try to remember the moment where he was asking you about engines. Mm -hmm. The week later, they come back to retrieve each evaluation as vividly as possible. I don't know if I can remember any specific questions. The long-term episodic memory is then assessed with a classical memory testing. The result shows that the participants were unable to recollect vividly the events encoded from outer body. FMRI analysis show this experimental amnesia affects specifically the hippocampus. This is what we call the out-of-body induced hippocampal amnesia. You should be the subject of your experience, bodily centered in a first-person perspective, to be able to activate your hippocampus and re-experience this event of your life. This has extensive implications, both in memory processes understanding and the understanding of the effect of dissociation present in psychopathologies such as in post-traumatic stress disorder.